Good afternoon, good morning. My name is Guillaume Gerard. I'm Chief Operating at Agatha, and it's my pleasure to welcome today Arthur Mate from NS Pharma. Welcome, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you for accepting our invitation. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Can you introduce yourself, please, a little bit? Absolutely. My name is Arthur Mate, and I'm the Head of Quality Assurance at NS Pharma, a small pharmaceutical company in northern New Jersey. Okay, and w what is your role in, in the company? What, I know you have various roles like quality manager and you're also managing like audits. And yeah, so absolutely. So I've been there uh, almost exactly three years uh, today and um, I have responsibility for all quality assurance, uh, clinical quality assurance compliance and also manufacturing as well. You know, we're responsible for health authority audits, uh, inspections. Uh, we do investigator site audits and we do vendor audits as well. Okay. And what is your background? You've been w working in the industry for quite a while yeah, and uh, like with many pharmaceutical companies on various aspects of the business. So can you explain also? Your yeah, opinion? yeah, sure. I mean, I started out quite some time ago in a large pharmaceutical company uh, in the toxicology lab and worked my way into uh, clinical monitoring Okay. and then into quality assurance. Uh, I've also done um, with several other large pharmaceutical companies um, I've done uh, electronic document management systems, I've done computer system uh, validation, okay. uh, audits and inspections, and then here I am now with uh, NS Pharma. Right, so you're an expert in uh, uh, gathering requirements, <laughs> traceability matrix, and so on. I don't know if I'm ever an expert, but I've, I've been around for quite some time, yeah. Okay. What is uh, NS Pharma business? Can you explain also? Yeah, I mean, strictly pharmaceutical, we focus on Duchenne's muscular dystrophy. Okay. Um, you know, getting a, a drug out of solution to our patients. And is Pharma in, is a subsidiary of a Japanese uh, corporation? Yes, our, our headquarters, uh, Nippon Shinyaku, is located in Kyoto, Japan. And so uh, I'm not quite sure if you want to call us independent, but that's, that's the direction we're going in. Uh, we, kinda, we actually kind of handle the rest of the world uh, outside of Japan. Yeah, so like China and you're traveling everywhere. Yeah, we, I mean, we're slowly getting into it. Like I said, we're, we're small. Uh, as a group, we're kind of young, but we're growing. So, um, yeah, we are getting into uh, areas such as China and Europe as well. I know you arrived after the setup of, um, of Agatha, like Agatha was selected and set up um, like three or four years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so, I mean, you're absolutely right. So when I arrived uh, three years ago, we already had Agatha. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure when we, when we um, you know, purchased it and began using it. Uh, and at that time, uh, it was basically a document repository for, we used it for SOPs, and we had one trial master file in there. And that, now you have several studies and you're using Agatha on a, on a daily basis, is that? Is that yeah, so, um, you, know, you know, starting out very early for NS Pharma, they had just a few SOPs. They were, there was really no quality assurance group either that had used, utilized the consultant. Right. So when I came in, my role was to kind of build a quality group, ensure that uh, our one study got approved, uh, right. which is uh, Vital Larson. Um, and we've continued to grow, uh, increasing studies and increasing our trial master files in there. Okay. You, you mentioned like ensuring that you get, like you get approval from the studies and FDA approval, I, I'm assuming. How is Agatha helping out you during like, the FDA inspections? Yeah, well, we, did, we had a little help from COVID. You know, uh, I think everybody suffered with COVID. So, um, you know, we, we were fortunate to, um, you know, not actually have the audit um, in-house, but um, so we, we uh, store our SOPs there and think about it when an inspector comes in. The first thing I want to know is how do we do our business? Well, those are our SOPs. And uh, we manage them through Agatha. Through, uh, we, we kind of develop them outside and then bring them in, and then we get the approvals uh, within Agatha. Uh, and they're also linked to our training, which is also important for inspections. And then, um, you know, should a, should a health inspector want to see our documentation, which they will want to see our documentation, um, for the study, uh, our trial master file contains all our source documentation and, 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 and all documents. And we would retrieve them uh, as they requested by the inspector through, through Agatha. And when you have a new employee coming, then you put the employee in the right groups and automatically yeah, like, the employer records yeah, I'm sorry. are absolutely. generated. Yeah, so, it's, um, you know, so you can develop a training matrix uh, okay. within Agatha. And then that employee, depending on what their role is within the company, will be put into a particular training matrix. Uh, part of onboarding. Okay. So uh, yeah, we manage the training that way and their onboarding as well. You're also using Agatha Clinical ETMF to manage your ETMF, obviously. And um, can you explain how you're using that application? Yeah, absolutely. So 
Um, it's, you know, it's critical that we're able to store our ETMF, you know, in, in an application that manages and, uh, you know, uh, has security of our system, um, of our ETMF. So what happened is our CRO basically managed the, the ETMF during the, the course of the study. And at the end of the study, we bring it into Agatha. So now we have controls on it. What, what is the general um, feedback on Agatha by the, by the rest of the NS Pharma team? You know, the use of Agatha within our company, and once again, we're small, is mostly by quality assurance and clinical research and development. And, uh, you know, it, it works just fine for us, you know. I mean, we don't really get, I shouldn't say, we get no negative feedback, you know. Everything, everything works just fine. Everybody's happy with it. Uh, we uh, approve our, our SOPs uh, within Agatha, and then we distribute them uh, to the people, the individuals in the matrix. Um, you recently uh, decided to, uh, you know, upgrade also add an application, an Agatha application, the deviations and uh, Kappa application. Can you explain why? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, when I first started, uh, you know, we were looking at Agatha and I guess um, you and some of your staff were giving a presentation on some of the new modules that it could do. And I saw a QMS module, a quality management system. Right. And I was like, well, I have to have that, you know. <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, we want to standardize our reports, uh, our CAPAs and our deviations. We want to be able to track them. Um, and, of course, we all want to be able to pull metrics from them for our for senior management. Yeah, metrics is super important for you, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it'll help us, for example, you know, uh, when we do our audit reports, if we have, you know, certain findings, if we can, if we can categorize those findings and then we can do metrics, let's say, for, for instance, you know, informed consent, there's a problem there. You know, we can we can generate metrics and tell our, our senior manager, look, we have a problem here with our informed consents. And when we do our audits, I can tell my staff, you need to focus on that because um, something's wrong. And so hopefully we can fix that and put a focus on it. From your perspective, what are the bigger strength of a uh, solution like Agatha? So, you know, for, you know, I can only speak for us. Um, you know, uh, it's simple. OK, it really is simple because I've, I've put in other systems that can be rather complicated. Um, being that we're small, we want to keep things simple. We don't want it to be, you know, uh, difficult to use. Um, it's easy to use. Uh, I can tell you it was uh, reasonable, you know, uh, when we negotiated our costs. So we were very happy. Uh, and it was very nice to work with the, the team at Agatha. In terms of uh, setup, you have a lot of experience with other solutions. Like, wh what is the main difference that you like? Yeah, so, so that's actually very simple as well because it's cloud-based. Um, like for us, it's sort of like we just access the system. We didn't really have to do a validation. Um, not that we wouldn't, depending on, on what you're doing for us. I mean, maybe some of the QMS build, we want to do some testing ourselves. You only have to do uh, performance testing. Right. Um, but that was it. So it was very, very good, uh, very simple for us. Um, and, of course, you know, you and your support staff have been great, you know, to us. Very supportive, you know. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Based on your, you know, experience with multiple systems with Agatha and so on, what would be your recommendation for other companies who would want to uh, bring in uh, quality and clinical document management? Sure, education? sure. If you want, if you want, you know, a simple system that you want something that's probably easy, uh, as I just mentioned, you know, um, you know, relatively uh, reasonable in cost, um, get great support, um, and and you know, want to be using it quickly, um, I say take a look at it, you know, I mean, at least it never hurts to look at, at a system out there. In fact, the, everybody should be looking at all the systems, but um, certainly take a look at it and speak to gentlemen like you that can um, certainly help us out. Arthur May, thank you for your time. Great, thank you. Thanks for having me.